Not a fucking word, Bill. What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and tonight I'm going to show you guys all 10 arcade machine locations within the Black Ops Cold War campaign. Now, finding all 10 of these does give you the Dark Ops calling card known as Retro Gamer. And I know what you're probably thinking, yes, you can play all 10 of the games either at their individual machines from their respective campaign missions or through one big video spiel machine located in the CIA safe house, which is found in a secret room. Now, to access the secret room, you have to put in the code 112263. The way this code was found is through the hints that are on the piece of paper attached onto the front of the secret room. The piece of paper tells us to go look at other pieces of evidence in the following order. Clinical record, Warren Commission, and Dallas News article. Now, the clinical record is a couple of feet away, right over here, and the numbers 1 and 1 are both highlighted. That's 11. We then have the Warren Commission found on a clipboard right in front of the secret room, and the numbers 2 2 and 2 are both highlighted as well, and we then have the Dallas News article located in the creepy red room on the other side of this CIA safe house go in there, and the numbers 6 and 3 are both highlighted. So we then have 112263, the day that JFK was unfortunately assassinated, enter the code, and boom, you could access the secret room here in the CIA safe house, where you'll find the video spiel machine, and actually interacting with this machine for the first time unlocks the game Pitfall 2 for you and you'll notice that the other nine arcade games are still going to be locked because we haven't grabbed them yet from their respective campaign missions and you can also interact with the terminal that's in this room which is very similar to the terminal we had back in the Black Ops 1 campaign. You can use a lot of the Black Ops 1 inputs that we used back then and they should still work here on this terminal and you can also play Zork as we're all familiar with now thanks to Pawn Takes Pawn. Now if you don't ever enter the code for this room you could actually access it towards the very end of the game if you make a particular choice to go ahead and ambush your team by clicking on that red remote here in this room but you don't have to wait that long or make any choices to enter here you can come here as soon as the second campaign mission known as CIA safe house E9 now when it comes to the other nine arcade machines we're gonna go in the order of the campaign missions. so the first one is on brick in the wall and the game is known as enduro now brick in the wall isn't too long of a mission and you'll be able to find this arcade machine less than halfway into the mission itself once you meet up with Lazar and you enter the the music shop. It'll be located right over there in that room. Hold square on it and boom, it'll actually unlock the game or you can sit there and play it right there if you don't want to wait till later to go ahead and try the game out. It's that simple. We then have a whooping five arcade machines on the campaign mission known as Red Light Green Light and rightfully so because we actually enter an arcade room. Yes, they put five of them in one campaign mission which makes this a lot easier to break down. They could have put all of them in here if they wanted to but they made it a little bit more challenging and threw at least a couple of other ones in some other campaign missions but in this room you'll find pitfall river raid grand prix fishing derby and barn storming again you can play any of them that you want right here in this room or you can wait till later to play them on the video spiel machine within the cia safe house but the next two are actually on one mission as well and it's my favorite campaign mission of all time known as break on through now this first one you could very easily miss if you make the wrong decision but the second one on this mission is guaranteed every time. So the first one is the boxing game. Now you can get this pretty close to the start of the mission. Once you make it past the first wave of enemies, you want to make sure you stay left. Once you stay left, you'll find more enemies right here in this area. Finish them off and then take a sharp right where the cliff ends. Jump down and you'll see a log that you can walk on. Follow that path and you'll see the boxing game right there on your left hidden in a cave. This one is very easy to miss since most people take a certain path and just keep moving forward while checking their surroundings or moving left and right so I like how hidden this one was but the second game is Kaboom this one you can almost find every single time no matter what once you make it towards the end of the mission after three cycles of restarting the same events over and over once you actually napalm a bunch of the enemies and you walk through the red door some trippy stuff will happen Aller will begin talking to you and then once you're making it closer and closer to the red door you'll notice a room on your left actually opens you have as much time as you need to actually go through it so walk in there and you see the Kaboom Boom game sitting right there in the dark corner. This one's very simple and you're not timed whatsoever once you're in this trippy sequence with the red door. So go ahead and grab that and then proceed with the rest of the
of the mission, and that is it for Break On Through. So, like I said, the first one you have to really take a certain path, but the second one, you're guaranteed every time since it is the end of the mission itself. We then have a arcade game on desperate measures. Last but definitely not least, Chopper Command, most people's favorite retro game from Activision, of course. Now, Desperate Measures is a really interesting mission dealing with the KGB, and you can't actually find this one until you talk to Kravchenko towards, I want to say, the earlier half of the mission itself. Once you talk to Kravchenko right here in this room, your map will be updated and you'll be able to access the server room. So you want to take this path to the server room and you can use your map as reference as much as you want. You got to go downstairs, you got to go through a guard or two. Once you're in the server room, make sure you also take out the guards that are in there. And in the left hand corner, you'll see Chopper Command sitting right there. And at this point, that should be the last arcade machine that you need going in the order of the campaign missions. Now you can play all 10 of them from the CIA safe house anytime that you'd like. So let me know if you found this helpful down below in the comment section. This has been DK Dynamite. I'll keep you guys posted with any other Easter eggs that are found in this campaign. Charlie Intel also reported on the other Dark Ops challenges for every game mode, campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. But for the remaining ones in campaign, we have the following. What do the numbers mean? Which is by decrypting the Operation Chaos floppy disk. We then have Defiant, which is attempting to jump to your death and break on through. Very easy. We then have Anti-Hero. Wipe out your former teammates using brute force in ashes to ashes. We then have Cover Your Tracks, which is stash away five bodies as Belikov in desperate measures. We have Awkward Chat. Answer Imran Zakayev's questions correctly in the elevator in desperate measures. A very funny no Russian reference there in that mission. And after that, it is the Dark Ops Master for completing all campaign Dark Ops challenges. But Charlie Intel also has images of what these other campaign Dark Ops calling cards do look like. I can't show them on screen for obvious reasons, don't want to get in trouble, but they are on Charlie Intel's brand new article. Very easy to find. But I also have more D Machina coverage coming up in the next couple of hours and over the course of this week. Let me know in the comments as well if there's any particular videos you want me to make, maybe some tips on some of the achievements or some other Dark Ops tutorials. Definitely let me know down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everyone.